Hi everyone, it's Cindy, and I just thought I'd bring you along. Um, I'm working on this, um, sorry about the noise in my chair, this um, <clears throat> farmer's market themed journal, and I got the signatures sewn in. So those are ready to go, and I've been putting pockets in, and there's one of them sliding out. So I kind of placed them, and then I'll go back and start gluing them in. And then, you know, my piles just keep encroaching and encroaching on my desk, so I try, try to clean it off a little, so this is probably as good as it's going to get for a bit. So anyway, I found this uh, title page for the book, so that I'm going to make an envelope out of it. And um, actually, since it's... Um, almost completely blank I'm going to make it an envelope that doesn't really it's not glued down so I just folded it um, a little less than half and um, I wanted this to show the title so my flap turning over isn't very big but that's okay so I have that and 90% of the time I'll leave the rough edges just so it looks like it's a book this page has been torn out but this time I think I will cut that off so let me grab my cutter and just line it up just a little bit just cut off just a smidgen and uh, I usually start in the middle of my thing I need to cut um, that way my blade won't catch on the edge especially if something is thick uh, three um, pieces or two pieces folded okay so uh, I think that looks fairly straight I don't know um, so I'm not going to decorate it much, just a little bit here maybe, and then um, they will open it up and write in it. I'm thinking actually that this is just going to go in a pocket instead of being a pocket. So um, I have stuff here to decorate with and uh, a bunch of stuff over here. I was kind of looking at this washi tape because it's kind of the same colors. And I picked, pulled this out because it's like the farmhouse. And uh, maybe I'll just put some of that on there. And I've got a glue stick here. At least we'll start with this. Okay. I don't want it real thick because if you unfold it and you want to write behind it, then you don't want a lot of bumpy stuff. But um, maybe a little something on the corner. And I have a bunch of clusters. Um, I tried to cram them all in one drawer. I'll show it to you here <laughs> but they actually ended up fitting in two drawers like that I just had them in a bag and they weren't ever close to where I was so I just um, just dumped them so they'd be closer okay I just want a little something over there but these are all probably gonna be too big so um, I don't know we could cut one down it's not too bad. It kind of has the red. It could be ticking. Let's use that one. Okay. All right. Glue that on. And we'll just call this done. If I find a little something to put on there as like a little focal point, we'll do that. But for now, this is our focal point. I know we have some little chickens around here somewhere, but I'm not going to spend all day... Um, working on where they're at so we'll we'll find them as we go along <laughs> okay I did all the pockets in the first signature so I was working on the second I got as far as right here this is kept from a magazine but our homes and garden and I like how it shows the vegetables growing in the dirt so I want it to be like a little side flip out thing no a side tuck so I need to trim it up better Start there. I may have to use my scissors. I don't know if I can cut it straight, that's what I'm trying to say. Maybe. Okay, I got it. And definitely want this off. I'm thinking about leaving date on there. Maybe not. Probably hear the door slamming. I always have people going in and out of my house. Yikes, don't tear the paper. 
It's very thin magazine paper. Okay. All right. All right. So I need something to make a touch with this. So it's going to be smaller unless I add more paper. And I have this, which is cut from a. It's from the end papers of the book. So I can glue that on there. I can make it longer. And then we can do some stuff on the ends. Okay. So pen. Mark it there. Okay. We'll start with there. Like I said, I just don't have any real um, direction for what I'm doing. I just know I place pockets and we're going to start there. That is not a very straight edge to be using as my guide, so I'm flipping it over. Okay, this paper I'm just having a folder of a bunch of stuff like this that I just keep, and if I need backing for a tag, um, then I've got it. I think we can go a little bit narrow. Oh, wait a minute. Now I've lost my place. Was I doing it this way? Too busy talking. No, that's the direction we're going. Okay. Okay, let's straighten this up then. comes from not having a flat surface. Every time I think I'm going to do better, and I do not, I just get too many things out because I don't want to forget them. And then I end up forgetting them because they're under a pile of stuff. So you think I would learn. I'm just going to show you. I made, remember that fabric, I mean that yarn I had in that one um, bag of things I got from Goodwill? I made me a little trash bag. Uh, basket. It's probably one of the worst jobs of crocheting I've ever done, but that's because I was doing it while watching a football game that my team was playing in, and they were should have played a lot better, let's just say. No better. So anyway, have my mind on other things. But it did keep me from going crazy, I guess, during that game. So if we go, it could be a tuck. We'll cut the little divot out. Okay, I guess I want to ink it. Oh, you know, I've got my ink. I wasn't thinking about where's my dollar. Yeah, it's crazy. So here's scissors I'll probably be looking for. Here it is, right here. Okay, and I need my weight, paper weight. There we go. is the other side. It makes it even shorter, but that's okay. Somehow that does not look straight. It doesn't look straight. It's because it's not. Good grief. Oh, it's a little better. <laughs> Using antique linen, um, just because my vintage photo is buried way at the bottom of my drawer, and I haven't taken the time to dig it out, because I like this just as well. It kind of really goes with the yellows, so I've been using it for a little bit. Okay, I'm gluing that on. I want it. I think it looks better centered. So here we go with this. get many magazines anymore. I had a bunch of Better Homes and Gardens um, when I first started doing junk journals and then I had a friend give me um, a bunch of garden magazines and I still have a little bit of the garden magazines but that's where a lot of these um, farmer things came from. So you think, well, if I use up all my supplies, what am I going to do next time? <laughs> I've never used up all my supplies, so... And sometimes you don't get around to next time for a long time, so... 
Okay, um, I need to cut that divot out. How in the world am I gonna figure out center? I want it to be centered. This is nine inches, so four and a half centered. So about where that tomato or whatever it is comes up. Well, I'll let every, here it is. <laughs> I have four punches on my desk. You think one of them would work? Okay. All right, now I gotta figure out what to do on the ends. So, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. Just paper under it. Get another one. put on the ends. None whatsoever. I mean, I'm thinking snippets of lace. Um, and my squeaky doors. I have this little some burlap. Well, I have burlap right here, too. But what do I do with it? Just some burlap on the ends. This has got a backing on it, so we're making great pockets, so I should leave that out. Okay, I'm digging. There is some fabric pieces. A little bit of green. I guess if I'm thinking of fabric and burlap, I'm kind of thinking snippets again. So, but let's look and see what's over here. Okay, here's one of my blue plastic drawers. See, I mean, I could put the word garden there. Gardens, that would work. And I could put some washi tape behind it. Or I've got this green ribbon. I've got some of it on that side of the page, so I could put some on this side of the page. And then, what can I do with the bottom? I had a picture of some corn or something. I mean, I have one of these labels. I don't even know if I'm on the screen. I can't see the end. This time of day, I've got a glare and I can't see. I think I'm barely there. Okay. And I'm digging through here still. Just seeing what's here. There's all the stuff for collage. Stuff flying out. Plastic piece, that's trash. Okay. Two folders. These are more like stuff for pages. Little stuff. Ooh, I'm going across that chicken too. So I mean, there's so much that you just. So much is too much. Something like that. Okay, I don't mean to torture you guys. Okay, let's see. See, I was thinking, I like the apples there. What if I did something similar with the squash? What can I hurt to try, right? So if I get a little bit of the greenery, let's see. there or not, but we'll try it. Not really. <laughs> Let's work on this one. We know that we like this. Gardens. Oh, I know what it's do. We're just going to um, put the green ribbon at the bottom. Okay. Ink. Ribbon right here. Got to put a piece of ribbon across. Maybe I should have done this before I glued it in, huh? 
fabric scissors. Keep them out. We'll need them again in just a second. across there fairly straight I'm gonna put the word gardens across there this was torn from a book and then we're just gonna put a piece of green ribbon at the bottom and be done with it just kind of finish it off okay let's put that up there lid still in my hand. This is some ribbon. I'm not sure. Is this from Dollar Tree? I think it is. Look like Dollar Tree ribbon. Well, I think it probably is, but it's perfect for this, and it would be great for Christmas as well. So, okay. There we go. Lid back on the glue. I got a little pile now of little things I was trying to for this, that's how I get things cluttered on my desk. I got little piles of stuff I tried. So, um, got the little trash basket. Let's put stuff in it. Okay, so um, I think that looks really cute. Yeah, and let's just keep going. All right, that's the end of the first signature. All right, I had this book page. This is one of my favorite book page pockets. You just glue like three pages of book page together, and then you can just use the text to help you cut cut out this shape and then of course it could be either side so this one I thought I might put it this way and you have all this expanse and I like the color of this <laughs> with this so anyway that's what we're doing glue glasses back on hopefully you guys can pick up a um, idea or two I know every time I watch a video I'm like aha that's a good idea or it triggers something, you know. Like the other day, I thought, oh, I woke up early. I thought, oh, yes, I'm just going to lay here and watch videotapes. I've got time. Not videotapes. Uh, YouTube videos. And, um, you know, I didn't get far into one. It was Rachel at Roxy's Creation. And she's collaging. I'm thinking, oh, man, I want to go collage. So up I hop. So, you know, it's inspiration. Okay, I found this. It was a book page. It's got like an old mill with the water wheel and it does have that crow but maybe we'll overlook him and it's a little pocket it's not very um um what's the word i want um it's kind of not really fragile but it's not real tough the papers are thin so i'm just gluing it down as a pocket with no pocket behind it so i'm just gonna put it on this um page that's made out of um the, you know when you get gift wrap sometimes it's got that tube in the center well sometimes it's this craft paper rolled up so I just take it unroll it take it to my iron and I flatten it with my iron and then I cut it into pieces I can use for my project so that's where that came from and it's nice thick okay now this is cut from um, a book or magazine and I just cut it out and put it on layers and my thought was a journaling card and I have some that maybe can be journaling cards but I decided to use this one as a pocket. I like the way the colors, you know, they kind of blend in together. And uh, I think I've said before, I'm not one that minds if something kind of gets lost in the pattern of the page. So, we'll just put this one here. Make sure we'll do it as a tuck. So, And I had stitched around it. If you can see that. Hopefully you're still able to see. And the picture on this book is of um, like a stagecoach type thing. Well, this guy is riding across the country in this old Model T or Model A car. And it's just different things you see. So it's like a, it's a cargo wagon, I guess you would say. Horse and buggy type thing, but it's just filled with boxes and stuff. So um, that's not the reason I use this page. It has on the other side of it like a picture of a barn. So... And this is uh, a cucumber. Let's see what else we have. Okay, I made this um, from an old 
probably one of these type, you know, five ring binders, something old, old cookbook or something, and I just added a label on it with some scraps of lace and some rick rack. So I think it will barely fit here. I guess that's the best place for it. So there's the barn. Kind of second guessing myself. I think I'll put it there. The reason, I mean, I think this can all be written on, even though this can is still white paper, and we can get. Um, it's a little sturdier piece of paper, plus you got the yellows playing off, so let's do that. Glued it on as a pocket. Yeah, it's, I think pretty sure it was from this five ring binder. It just had a picture of the mushrooms, but I may be wrong about that. There may be just the backing paper I use, so never mind. Because <laughs> I, sometimes I'll use this if I need something to be, uh, it's not, it's kind of flimsy, I want to thicken it up, I'll grab one of these. Five ring binder pages. I might have gotten that too close to the fold. Maybe not. I think it'll work. Okay, this is a um, pocket I made out of um, a magazine page, but it just had those radishes and things on there, so I thought, why not? So let's glue it because it's not been glued, and I'm going to glue this part together so it makes it a little sturdier. And then I'll glue along these edges in the bottom. And I guess down, glue this down too. And I think I'll just leave that one open. Because this one could be a, a pocket and the other one could be like a tuck. Okay, so very white here. So let's, and I need to cover that up. So we'll just put it right here. And I'm going to glue the whole thing down as a no pocket behind it. It's just a little thin uh, magazine pages. So even though it's folded in half, I still think it's better just to use the pockets here, these two. Okay, now what else is coming up? Second part of the signature, I have a picture of a farmer with his... Um, produce in the back of his truck and I don't know that we'll do anything to that I'll just put it on there like that we'll make it a pocket I can put a little rickrack along the bottom let's see just covering up this writing on the back of this scrapbook paper Maybe a little rick rack along there. I think I just put my, I have yellow right here. So I say I put, put my green up, but it was the yellow. Okay, maybe we'll just put a little of that there. Brighten up that page. I could put that green ribbon, but it's too wide, I think. Okay, we'll just do this. Okay, use this again, oops. Stopping my bottle from rolling away, okay. What is the weather like everybody else's places? Um, here is finally just a smidgen cooler. You're thinking, okay, there's a chance <laughs> that fall might arrive. And it's just kind of nice to be able to go back outside and sit. I need to be out there dying paper because I'm getting low, but here I sit. So I'm looking at the sunshine thinking I'm wasting an opportunity. Okay. I haven't decided what to do about just the complete white pages yet. I may just find little pictures, you know, that I've got like this and just put it like a decoration up in the corner and not worrying about making it a tuck or anything like that, but just kind of decorating the white page. So I might as well take these apples and do that with it. Let's see, turn that one up right. So it's just a picture. All right, what is funny about this, I cut this from a book, and it says, Earth, hope, no, Faith, Hope, Charity, and Fidelity. I pay for all. I have no idea what it is, who painted it, but do you see the farmer in the middle right there? Let's make sure you can see him. It's funny because I had that in my stash. Let me get it. It's going to take a minute. I need to turn around and grab it. 
It should be right here if I can get my hands on it. Yep, right here. This is the collage sheet I told you was from Junk Journal Inspirations. It's a freebie. And look at the farmer there. It's this farmer guy right here. So, so whatever this is, is old enough that they could use that image. So I thought that was kind of cool. So anyway, I have this in my book and then I also want to have that. So we're going to make it into a pocket and it needs to be thicker. So we're going to put it on a couple of layers of this. So we're just going to turn it in half, put it in, fold it in half with some glue. It would be better if I would move my book. Okay. You get off there. Okay. And then glue it on. I'm going to give this three thicknesses so I should make it a lot thicker. Scissors to cut it out with. Here we go. We'll put the cloth ones back. The fabric scissors back up. Ink pen doesn't need to be out. It might say very small, tiny print there what it is but I can't read it it's way too small fine art I don't know can't read it okay don't get too close okay now I should stitch around it but I can't do that unless you guys just wait on I mean the work was was it there probably stitch around it. Okay, I'm not going to glue it in yet. I'm going to stitch around it and then I'll glue it in later. Oh, you guys can't even see me. Oh my gosh. I was going to put it here, I think, is where it had it. And, um, it could have been here. I'll make it here. Um, anyway, I'm going to stitch around it, so we'll just wait for the glue to dry and then I'll do it off camera. Okay, what do I have next? I have another one of these. I'm just going to put it here, I imagine. We'll make it into another tuck. Actually, I'm not sure. I've already got one like that. Let's see what else. We could do something with this. Hmm. Maybe I can do that with him. It'd be too wide, but I can cut some of it off because this isn't straight. Whoa. <laughs> So I gotta find a different place to put him because that's too wide. He'll fit there, I think. Let's try. If I go this way, he can stick off the page a little bit. And I can cut it down just a little bit more too. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna have to stitch around it twice, around the edges and around uh, the picture. I think I can get that on that page. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So we're gonna use that. And we're not using this. So, um, I know I have some other things over here. Uh, thought about using this. Oh, I've got one of those coming up. Okay, let's use this. It's a birthday card and I think it's filled out, yes. So I need to cover over the writing and then I'm gonna glue it in and it's gonna flip out. It could be a pockets and then it could be a flip out or you can write here and then you can write here. So I'm going to cover the writing up. So help me to remember it goes right there. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. So I'm going to write some pieces of paper, but it's going to be thin so you can see through it. So I might double cover it. It just says happy birthday, but. Now we'll put 
turn it other way. I, it'd be kind of fun to keep it in that within that green border. I don't know if you can see that border or not, but it's there, so try to tear it. Then let's tear the top off. Yeah, what did I think I was gonna do? These pieces can all go in my folder, which is right over here. Other pieces like that. Okay, I'm going to ink it for your burlap. I think I may back, go back and ink all those white pages because um, it just makes it more consistent, I think. Okay, and I'm going to ink this card as well. on it and so I can scrape them off. Scrape them off and tear in the paper, but I really have that torn thing, those little grits be on there. Okay. And if the person who gets this wants to um I don't know what I'm making in the back. Um, to cover up this part so they can write on it, then that's up to them. I'm just going to leave it. Okay, I went here. There goes my fabric tag. Okay, so we're going to glue it on as a pocket. Side pocket. More in the center of the page. Okay, so that's fun. Tuck in there. Open it up, right, right. Have lots of writing space. So we took this side of this page that had nothing on it. it has a nice barn here, nothing on it here. We've made it usable writing space. Okay, I found this in my stash. I was digging through. I had taken some fabric with peppers on it, glued it to a uh, index card stitched around it and then added this ruffle. So we're going to glue it down as a pocket on this. Um, I'm going to need that fabric tag. It just fell on the floor. On this craft paper that I was talking about earlier that came from that roll of gift wrap. center and um, that is it for the pockets so it's probably it for this video too I am going to put tags in and the next time we see this will be in the book then thanks for watching bye